Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Quran Weekly. I'd like to welcome you all to the very first episode of this exclusive series from Quran Weekly, Stories of the Prophets. And we're going to start off very appropriately with the story of Adam alayhi salam. Adam alayhi salam, the very first human being and the first Prophet of Allah. And to be very honest and frank with y'all, the story of Adam is something that's mentioned multiple times throughout the Quran. And there are different events from his life that are mentioned in the Quran. So I sat down and gave this a lot of thought, what I wanted to share with y'all in this video. And the conclusion I came to was something that is very near and dear to me personally, something that has a profound effect on me every time I read it or think about it. And that is the tawbah, the repentance of Adam salam. So let me set this up for y'all really quickly. Adam alayhi salam is created by Allah himself. His wife Hawa is created by Allah. They live together in paradise and enjoy an eternity of bliss and happiness together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to establish the status of Adam alayhi salam commands all the creation including the angels, malaika, everyone to bow down, prostrate, do sujood in front of Adam alayhi salam out of respect. Everyone complies except for one, Iblis, Shaytan, kana min al-jinn, he was one of the jinn. When he does not comply, he disobeys, defies Allah. He is ousted from paradise, the graces and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is cursed, damned and doomed by Allah. He makes a very interesting request at that time. He says, Oh Allah, undidni ila yawmi yuba'athun. Let me live till the day of resurrection, the day of judgment. And what does he say I want to do at that time? He makes his intentions very well known, public. He says, I will obstruct all of them. I will obstruct all of them from the straight path. I will lead all of them astray. And he has a reason for why he's so confident, why he thinks he can, he can be successful in doing so. He says, وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ Because you will not find the majority of them to be grateful people. They won't be grateful to you, O oh Allah. And they won't appreciate what you've done for them, what you've given to them. They'll disobey you. They won't turn back to you. And that's why I think I'll succeed. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also told him something at that time. He said, fine, you might be able to lead some of them astray, but there are some people that you won't be able to get to. إِلَّا You will not be able to get to those. You won't be able to lead those people astray who are sincere, المخلصين, sincere people. You won't be able to mess with them. Now let's go forward. He basically... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had told Adam alayhi salam, there's one thing you can't do. La taqraba hathi shajara, don't go near this tree. Shaitan basically comes and lies to them and, you know, uh, tells them all types of nonsense and gets them to eat from that tree. Once they've taken from that tree, they've done exactly that which Allah had told them not to do. A few things happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us their private parts are exposed, they're sent down to the earth, they're, they're basically ousted, they're removed from paradise. But now what do you do now? What do you do in this situation? Something very interesting, again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, فَتَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ Adam alayhi salam received certain words directly from Allah. Allah gave certain words directly to Adam alayhi salam. He received them from Allah. What are those words? Allah tells us in another place in the Quran, Rabbana, our Lord, our Master, who has given us everything that we have, showing appreciation. Zalamna anfusana. We have wronged ourselves. We messed up. Sincerity. We messed up. And O Allah, if you do not forgive us, you do not shower us with your mercy, we will lose, we will fail, we will be doomed. And so now what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Fataba Ali. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their repentance. You know, I'd like to interject right here real quick for 30 seconds and explain to y'all the meaning of repentance. You know, this is something I, I talk to my students about a lot. A lot of times in, in, in the Muslim community, Muslims, we have certain concepts and we translate them into English. But the problem is we're, we don't even understand what the English means. So what's, what, what do you call Tawbah in English? Repentance. But what does repentance mean? Tawbah? We don't really know what repentance means. In the Arabic language, Tawbah is a ruju' ila tariq, a ruju' ila sirat. It is that when you were supposed to be going north, 
and you took a wrong turn and you're going south, you're going in the wrong direction, what do you do? Instinctively, you know you make a U-turn to turn around and get back on track. That's what Toba is. Toba is a U-turn. Toba is to turn things around. Toba is to get back on track. And so Adam alayhi salam turned back to Allah. He said, oh Allah, I shouldn't have eaten from that tree, but I did. Please forgive me and have mercy on me, oh Allah. Allah accepted his repentance, took him back, and put him back on track. When we see, we all have to reflect on our own humanness. We are all the children of Adam alayhi salam. We're all human beings. We're all going to mess up from time to time. We're all going to do something Allah told us not to do. What do we do in those instances? What do we do? In, what do we do in that situation? We got to turn back and head back to Allah. Because you see, perfection is not the goal. For us, perfection is not even possible. We're human. To where is human? The goal for us is to always find our way back to Allah. Like Adam alayhi salam went back to Allah. And what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us? When somebody turns back to Allah, tries to fix things with Allah, ثُمَّ جِتَبَاهُ رَبُّهُ Allah selected him. Allah chose him. وَتَابَ alayhi, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his repentance. ثُمَّ تَابَ alayhi وَهَدَى Allah selected him, Allah chose him, Allah accepted his repentance, and Allah blessed him with guidance. Allah taught him how to live his life on that straight path. This is a profound lesson for all of us from the story of Adam alayhi salam. Allah is reminding us, Allah is teaching us how to repair things with him, how to make things better with him. So why don't we seize that opportunity? Oh Allah, I messed up. Please forgive me, have mercy on me. Get back on track. Find our way back to Allah. And when you are repenting to Allah, know that shows gratitude, that shows sincerity, that shows we're chosen and selected by Allah. And Allah will teach us, Allah will show us how to live our life properly. So that's a quick little story and a lesson from the life of Adam alayhi salam. May Allah give us all the ability to constantly keep repairing and fixing things with Allah. Keep turning back to Allah. Until next time, Quran Weekly. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Like when you're driving and you were supposed to go north and you started going south. You're supposed to take a right and you took a left. And when you realize in a little while that you're going the wrong direction. That's a helicopter by the way. It's okay, we're gonna wait it out. Say, see, we were talking about Toba, right? I'll make some Toba. Astaghfirullah, I'm sorry about the helicopter. All right, now let's continue.